Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and today's video is going to be a Faces One brand lipstick swatch video. Some of their best sellers, some of their popular lipsticks. I have different ranges from this brand for you guys that I've swatched. So I hope you enjoy this. As usual, this video is filmed in natural light. It is very, very gloomy right here. So I'm not sure if you can see the colors accurately. I've tried my best. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And also, I don't really have any makeup on my face so that you can see how these shades perform on me without makeup and the reason that I didn't want to put on any makeup is because I was just like a little bit bummed to put on a full face of makeup so I was like okay why not just make a video without a full face of makeup on what's the big deal so so yeah let me know what other brand you like to watch next if you want me to continue the series let me know please and what other brand you'd like to watch next okay so let's get started with the swatches so firstly I will be swatching these faces Canada weightless matte lipsticks so these are some of their affordable range and they have some really popular shades in this range so i'm going to be starting off by swatching some of these so the first one i have right here is forsake beauty which is one of my absolute favorite shades from this range i have used this one up quite a bit so swatching this this one is a beautiful brownish red shade this would suit every single skin tone out there and you can wear this without makeup as well i don't have any makeup on my face right now and i absolutely love this particular shade um the formula of these are quite comfortable on the lips they are not very drying they do kind of fade away from the center of your lips if you were to sip on to something maybe use a spoon or anything but it's not very drying not very uncomfortable and bullet lipsticks are very easy to retouch upon and the price point is really good as well next up i have the shade called brown ashes and leave it to this brand to come up with some really beautiful shades this is a deep mauve shade it has a little bit of a red hint to it as well uh, i think this shade is quite similar to uh, nika jade rose as well i think i duped it long ago i'm not sure which shade that is but it looks so beautiful next up i have the shade called subtle mauve which is more like a pink toned nude shade for my skin tone it has a little bit of warmth to it as well a lot less lighter than the previous shade that i showed again uh, would work as a really nice nude shade for people of medium skin tones and medium tan skin tones next up i have the shade called pretty sepia which is a very very popular shade but i feel like you know the formulation has changed because the shape of the bullet and everything is a lot different from the previous ones it's not as pigmented as the other shades went on my lips this is a little bit sheer kind of patchy on my lips this is a warm toned peachy kind of a shade uh, certainly not for all skin tones you guys can see it doesn't really flatter me as much as well so i think this is for people of lighter skin tones light to light medium skin tones i don't know why brands go ahead and change something that is already so good like the formula of that is so nice and pigmented and matte but this one is a little bit like sheer sheeny looking on the lips Next up, I have the Faces Canada Weightless, I think, cream lipstick. And this one is in the shade Sweet Mocha. I just picked up one shade from this range just to swatch it for you guys. So this is a warm toned nude shade for my skin tone of course and it's a very very sheeny formula not very pigmented you have to build on this one quite a bit so i would say even if you are looking at any range from this one skip on this and maybe try out the my glam satin matte lipstick because that is pigmented and it has that nice glossy feel and it's very very comfortable on the lips and the price point is pretty similar as well and you can get it on a much better discount during the amazon prime day sale that is starting on the july 23rd and all the way up to 24th next up we have their og lip crayons the ones that initially got me hooked onto this brand so the first shade we have is midnight rose this is one of my favorite shades from this range it looks different under different lighting like right now with natural light it looks more orange and with uh, maybe cooler lights and indoors it looks a little bit more deeper that's how it used to look on me and now you can see it looks like a bright orangish red shade uh, so this even though a very popular shade i can see a lot of people not liking it as well because of that orange hints to it and the brightness that it has but i absolutely love the pigmentation the comfort factor everything about these this lip crayon next up i have another very very popular shade called spiced latte uh, this is a lot of people's favorite shade but for me i don't really like how it looks you guys can see how it looks on my lips it looks more peachy and very very muted so it kind of makes me look like dull like especially because i'm doing these swatches without makeup you can see how it looks as well 
Next up, I have the shade called Cashmere, which is again a very popular shade, but of course for people of lighter skin tones on me, I can wear this with a darker lip liner, mix and match the shade or maybe with a full face of makeup on but certainly not on days where I just want to be out the door with a simple lipstick on. Next up we have the shade called Put Me On which is a more brighter pink shade. I have noticed that even with the lip crayons compared to the shade Midnight Rose, there is a change in terms of the way this one applies. This one is a little bit more sheeny, like it's more creamier and it's not as matte as the Midnight Rose of formula was like this original packaging it's not the same and it's not as pigmented as that but i think this one would be a lot more comfortable for a lot of people so i think a lot of you guys wouldn't be completely disappointed with the reformulation in this particular lip crayon as well next up i have the shade called brunette which is a beautiful uh, brownish red shade with a little bit of plum undertones as well i can see this shade working out for so many different skin tones and i really really like these kind of shades you guys know this uh, like i mentioned the formula of this is not as matte as the first initial launch of their lip crayons but this is a lot more comfortable and a lot uh, more wearable i feel like Next up, I will be swatching these. These are their Primer Plus Matte Lipsticks. This is also one of their best-selling range. Initially, when they launched, people went crazy about this particular lip range. The first one I'm going to be swatching is called T-Rose. This shade in T-Rose is such a popular shade and this is one of their best-selling shades. It's a very nice, uh, like, you know, it has a little bit of salmon, peachy pink undertone to it and it wouldn't wash you out something you can wear on a daily basis formula is amazing and comfortable as well so this i can see it work for a lot of people another shade that i feel is like uh for me a little bit more of my personal favorite over tea rose because of how you know kind of muted it is is natural cocoa i absolutely love this shade it looks very similar to tea rose but just that tea rose is a little bit more brighter this one has a little bit more of a peachy brown undertone to it and again a very very wearable shade would suit every single skin tone out there in my opinion and also another really popular shade is Magnetic from the same range. You guys can see how it looks. It's more of like a uh, peachy pink kind of a shade. Again, doesn't wash me out. I really like this shade. Next up, I have the shade called Espresso, which is a beautiful brown, a deep brown with a little bit of red to it as well. And it, it's a more of a warmer brown shade. Looks really nice on a lot of different skin tones. Next up, I have the shade called Scandalous and this is how it looks like on my lips. It's not a very deep shade like how it looks like in the cap. It's not as deep as it looks. It's more like a burnt terracotta reddish shade. Next up, I'm going to be swatching these Jewel Cut lipsticks. Just look at the packaging. So good. So the first shade I have is called Victorian Mauve. I absolutely love this. It's a purple toned mauve shade. And uh, this is a lot of people's favorite shade. And I've been constantly asked to dupe this shade as well. It looks so beautiful on the lips. And the formula of these Jewel Cut lipsticks are amazing. They feel like luxe lipsticks. That's how amazing they are. They are quite soft, so make sure not to put a lot of pressure when you're applying it on your lips, otherwise it would break. Next up, I have the shade called Noble Garnet and I am telling you guys, if there's one shade you have to pick up from this swatch, it has to be this one because it is so beautiful. It's a little bit of a red shade, a little bit of orange hints to it as well and brown. It's just so nice and wearable and would look good on every single skin tone out there and the formula is amazing. I have a feeling that they're going to be discontinuing this range of lipsticks, so pick it up before they're gone forever. The next shade I have is called Coco Rouge, which looks like a cool toned brown nude shade on my uh, lips. So again, this de depends on a lot of people's preference. If you like cool toned shades, you can definitely try this out. Uh, if you are of a deeper skin tone than I am, it would look a little bit like lighter, like muted. Next up, I have a shade called Russian Maroon, which is not a very deep red shade. And it is a very wearable red shade, but depends on your preference. It's not very deep. So it might end up looking a little bit like orange toned on your lips. Like if you're okay with that kind of a red shade then by all means do try this out next up i have the shade called russet aloe which is a beautiful brown shade like a warm toned brown shade i absolutely love this shade and i'm gonna stop telling i love every shade because i am really in love with these shades 
and the last one from this range is splendid iris this is a beautiful deep pink shade actually it has a lot of purple hints to it as well it's not capturing as much on camera because the light outside is getting a little bit gloomy but this is a beautiful dupe for the mac powder kiss lipstick in the shade burning love if you wanted to buy that do not spend that money get this one I love this shade again. Next up, I'm going to be swatching these, this range of the liquid lipstick from the brand. I know they have another range of liquid lipstick, but those have been discontinued, I think. You can't see a lot of shades. They will be discontinued soon because they've launched a lot of new liquid lipstick formula. So the first one I'm going to be swatching is a very popular shade, which is called Note to Self. This range is called Comfy Matte Liquid Lipstick and I feel like it's very true. It goes on really comfortable, has a nice moussey formula to it and it settles down to, on your lips completely matte but non-drying. I really like the formula of this and it's really affordable range. And the look at this shade, it's a beautiful shade. It has brown, it has a little bit of mauve, it has a little bit of red to it as well. And I am the worst person to describe a liquid lipstick. And lastly, I have the shade called End of Story and uh this is a really nice deep pink shade very comfortable on the lips and um yeah i would recommend this formula for anyone who's looking for comfortable formulation nice different shades in this as well and they're really affordable so this range of liquid lipstick from faces it was pretty recent and they've launched another range that's called i think comfy matte pro this is in the shade darling pink i'm not a very big fan of this shade and that's the reason i'm not swatching it uh but yeah i have also not tried this one out i had ordered a different liquid lipstick and got a wrong one delivered to me uh so that particular liquid lipstick range i don't really have many shades because i am at this point a little overwhelmed with the amount of lipstick i have an amount of lipstick launches that brands have i feel like if they don't know what to launch they just come up with a lipstick so bullet lipstick liquid lipstick and then like, just change up the shades a little bit here and there and then it's again the same old same old so i haven't bought this range of lipsticks but this range i do however like it they are affordable and you can find good shade selection for yourself anyways that's pretty much everything i wanted to swatch for you guys let me know if i have missed out on some shade that you guys absolutely love let me know in the comment section down below and let me know if you want me to continue this series uh what is the brand you want to watch next let me know in the comment section down below please don't forget and while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye